Oh, most certainly the, um, the frontline stuff. In the last number of years, especially since the, um, a lot of the acts around uh, anti-terrorism, is the lot of humanitarian work has got very policy-driven. So what we're trying to say to, to um, younger humanitarians is uh, remember the front line, remember the, the community participation, the community bit. That's, that's, that's extremely rewarding, extremely involving. When I brought the national and international staff working for UNMIS in Sudan very safely in the middle of gunfire without anybody getting hurt, I consider that as a very, very uh, rewarding and also a satisfying experience I ever had in my life. To come back, back home and, and contribute to uh, these challenges, that's I think uh, the best rewarding I'm having. You know. You're working you know, for a higher purpose, I mean, you hope that, <laughs> that you're making a difference, you know, um, you hope that you're, you're adding to, to the world, I mean, I guess. Uh, making a difference. Uh, as I said, I have a different, a different component, if you like, in safety and security. Um, so you can, you can affect and influence personal behaviours of people, and you, you can see that demonstrates, um, you know, or helps them um, to be more, to act more safely and securely. And, and it, it's a long process. It's not just about policies and procedures. It's about joining up culture with that. And when you see, when you see all of those happen. It's very rewarding, very good. Especially that Lebanon is my country, uh, it, it remains quite critical for me uh, to be part of the institution building and the nation building in a, back at home. On national level, it means a lot for me to be able to, be, to have a role in helping and supporting my uh, community.